Hey there guys. I know it's been a very long time since I've done a real video, so here it is. It's gonna get pretty real. I'm here to talk to you, I'll give you an update on the cancer and how we're dealing with that, and to talk about my hair. So first off, let's talk about the cancer. I have had four treatments so far. I did have to delay one treatment um, by a week due to a very large drop in my white blood count and neutrophils. <clears throat> and also my platelets were low. So, and I was having some other symptoms, you know, side effects of the chemo. So we had to stop for a week and it was good. I brought my numbers right up from 1.5 to 6.5 on the white blood cells, and I can't remember the platelets. But the most important one were the absolute neutrophils, and they went up. So we were good to go for the chemo number four. And chemo number four, also, um, I got Nulasta. If anybody out there does have cancer, then you probably have heard of Nulasta. You've probably heard of it on the TV and radio as well. But I didn't get the little thing that goes on my arm. I got a shot of Nulasta, which is helping my bone marrow make more healthy, absolute neutrophils. So there we are. That's where I am with my cancer. It seems as though most patients that I've talked to do have some sort of setback at some point. Um, so there will be a teensy celebration when we get to six because I'll be halfway there and you know, Bon Jovi, mm, we're halfway there, so I'm gonna have to do something, of course. Um, you guys may notice that my voice is a little raspy. This is also a symptom, or I'm sorry, a side effect of one of the medications that I am currently receiving. So, but you gotta do what you gotta do, right? You know, I, I am in this fight for me and for my family and for my kids. If I didn't have my husband, I don't know what I'd do. I have a wealth of support and my children are there for me but Jason has to watch me go through all this and I know it's hard and I didn't want to cry damn it <laughs> I just did my makeup <laughs> And uh, don't laugh at me if it's good enough. I may actually submit it to the next few awards. So I don't want this video to be long. So let's get to the hair fitting. Um, I knew that I was going to want to get rid of my hair because it was falling out in droves, it seemed. Um, and that was very hard for me because I, I like my hair. And so I, you know, asked my doctor for a prescription for a wig, except you can't call it a wig if you, if you have to call it a cranial prosthesis if you want your insurance to cover it. Um, so um, I got the prescription and I made the appointment to go in for the fitting. Now I had expected to just walk in, get my fitting, a week later come back get my hair cut and get my wig well, that didn't happen it just so happened that the very first wig I laid my eyes on was the one that I wanted and this is it this is a Raquel Welch wig um, it is the color if you like it is honey toast yes yes I love it I think it's very natural. Um, it has the uh, front lace banding, so you, it looks like the hair is coming right out of the roots of my head. Because underneath here, and I'm gonna show you, um, you know, it's just skin. And there you go, sweaty skin. <laughs> but it's my skin, and I'm still in it. I can be pretty without hair. If you guys could please share this video on your um, so social media so that more women 
who are worried about doing what I had to do can know that it's not so bad. I didn't cry at all when it came off. It was actually quite liberating because watching it fall out strand by strand was awful. How do you like my eyes? <laughs> I'm so silly. So yes, you two can have this beautiful wig. <laughs> I also want to let people know that are out there that are in a certain financial situation that I got my wig through a program through the um, hospital and there are programs through the cancer treatment centers and the um, Cancer Care Alliance. Um, please don't think because you don't have the money for a wig that you can't get one. In fact, this one, um, you know, if I had paid cash, would have been $259. So um, <laughs> don't give up. If you can't um, find the resources, leave me a message in the comments below. Maybe I can help you find something. And I hope to help. I'm going to be doing most of my makeup without a wig from now on. So just so you know, my Get Ready With Me's will be probably with this little stubble that I have. Um, because I think I look beautiful just the way I am. So on that note, I love you all. And I will be putting up some previous videos that I did now that I found my filming equipment. And... Um, so, I know.